Yeah. It shows you what key it's in in the BPM. We're going to use that, but. So what's cool is like right away, we've got B minor 80, B minor 80. So we're just like, they match. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to like dra drag them in here. Right. And then I'm going to change the BPM of the session yeah. to 80. Yeah. And I'll put a loop. They match. That's hard already. I was like, yeah, I fuck with it. The other ninja trick is in arcade. One of the cool, I mean, so arcade you get, right? You you have these packs and you can set the pack. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a custom one. Let's go here. You've got different packs. So in Splice, you've got like all these different like packs. Mm -hmm. And in them, they have all the shit, right? Sorry. Like in them, they have all the sounds and the libraries, and blah, 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 blah right? Yeah. Very similar idea in arcade, except it's like, it's more like MIDI, meaning like you can edit things like in real time. So I can okay. set down here the key, which will do B minor. And uh, it'll just play with the session. So um, I can just... Find something cool. The other thing is like, if I have both of these, I can hit. And then when I play one, it'll literally go with the timing. See how it's... And now it's playing at the same time as my samples. And when it loads like that, like, see how it takes a little bit to load? It's literally doing that to wait, to time it with what I've already played. That had something in there, cool. So. F or S? Huh? S or F? I like S. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to just turn it down a little. I'm literally holding S. And then I'm just going to quickly, on my actual keyboard, I'm going to hit the letter Q to quantize it. And then let's... You're right. Good call on that. The other thing you can do, I'm just going to mute a super ninja trick, is you can literally take sounds from Splice and drag them into Arcade, and it will chop up the loop for you. I'll show you. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. So watch this really quick. I don't know if I've ever shown you or... So... That's the sample we just heard. That it chopped manually or automatically. Like, that's some AI right there. And you can even... Or you can change the style of how it's sampled. Are you getting those to play? Are you just I'm using my this? Oh I think I'm going to, and then you can have these little like effects. I like that. And then I'm going to hit watch. I'm going to hit save and play. 
and I'm just going to close it for now. And I'm going to, That's even harder. Hell yeah. That's crazy. Let's even put the drums let's, on it. Let's try it. I was just randomly going to, I, I had no idea what was going to happen. I think that's harder than the, than the original. just to fuck around and do a little too much like i just want to be a little extra just to show you i'm gonna throw on cthulhu and just throw a chord progression behind it but i just i wouldn't normally but just to fuck around and say hey why not we're in b minor where is it b minor go with a piano like a soulful sounding piano instead of that fucking happy shit oh we'll find something right but you can you can drag it Like that just to add something to it nice so that's a fucking melody And then drums, I get my drums from Splice. And I show you in the course how to drag and drop from Splice into Ultra Beat. This is free, it comes with Logic. I literally show you how to drag and drop. It's a very tedious process, but I show you how to do it. So these are just some shit that I've had previously. I mean, this beat is already so fucking hard. I could rap on this right alone. I could make the whole song just this. Right? But... That's really loud. We'll just do the clap. Yeah, it's my, it's my shit. I love the bass, the deep bass. Yeah, we'll we'll do the bass next. So for clap, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Now you notice the way I was counting wasn't really on the metronome. The metronome's 80 BPM, which is a tad bit slow, but I was like, I want to go a little faster. Yeah. So That's fire, that's fire. I'm 
I'm a big fan of open hats. <laughs> Now we have this is called um, note repeat, which I show you in the course how to set it up so that you can just hold one note and just like I'm going to hold my note down. Oh, now this beat's really going somewhere. That open hat. For fun, I love rolls and i i do it like this like i'll literally just record and switch it while i'm recording watch this that just comes from experience you don't like it you just fucking record again okay um, in terms of a bass, I personally like to go into splice a lot. So, um, I'm going to go back into that same exact pack and see if it has, um, a bass. I'm just going to go with, uh, bass. Say again. Wait, sorry, hold on. The difference you. between a bass and a sub. Same. Okay. Not, no different. A bass, a sub is more more low end, like a lot less high end, and it's very, very, very just low end. A, a bass is generally like, oh, a bass guitar, like a boom, 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 boom. It's gotcha. got a little more high end in melody, but it's it's the same bullshit. Look okay. at this. They got a bass, B minor 80 BPM. Fuck yeah, let's use it. Like <laughs> it's too easy. Or if we want a bass like that, like I can, I can slow it down and pitch it down. But I like that synth bass. Yeah, I like the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just. I mean, it's easy, bro. I'm telling you, this is. So when I level things out, this is how this is a little pre-mixing. I'm just gonna have everything like that. Mm -hmm. First thing I'm gonna do is the kick. Shit, I forgot which one's a kick. Let's lay it on. Yeah. There we go. We'll go. Melodies next. That's it. That's the EQ on what? What did you kick? Think? My bad. Oh, yeah, okay. you, I'm going too fast. No, nah, no, nah, that's it. I see it's at the top. Clap. Well, that was dope. That open hat. Wow, I love that open hat. I don't know if you listen to any artists at all from like California or the Bay Area at all. Or like LA. No. No. The open hat thing is like a big thing. I think. Oh. I I've noticed the open hat thing like 
there's some really insanely dope artists from the Bay and they're not, they, they, they're like technically underground, but they're like really fucking dope. That open hat thing is just something I've noticed with a lot of artists that makes their music sound really good. For the bass, I'm gonna take out a little of that rumble low end, but yeah, there we go. Piano. In later in mixing, I'm gonna do a lot to this piano, like modulation and some crazy shit. Yeah, I mean, you. to keep it like tight yeah i mean it doesn't need that high end like dude the 2k to 10k is where the vocal is yeah like this doesn't need it's to be there carving out the space yeah exactly in fact i really really want this you can test if an instrument's worth it, like I'm muting this. As I play the whole beat and I play it and mute it, I don't even notice it's gone, which makes me a little sad. Actually, I can. That piano came in and really took over. Yeah. Like that piano came off the bench and had 20. <laughs> that oh, piano man. is like, sit down. <laughs> Vocal chop. Yep. That's just fire too. Yeah, that's tight. I wonder if I can, I can pitch this up right here. I can also edit, watch this. Here's the note. See how it's playing, you can tell, and you can go to these three dots and hit edit. And I can. I could fuck around. I don't do a lot of this shit, but I'm just saying you could. Modulate, I don't fucking know. Honestly, too much for me. I can't go that far. And I don't like pitching it up, so. Go back to what we were. This beat goes stupid. Yeah, it is. And so, like, honestly, I mean, it did just take me, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. It's not because I'm cool or anything. I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's really just, like, I, I literally used this keyboard. I used no music theory understanding at all. Even though I know music theory, I didn't use any of it. I used headphones. I mean, I have speakers sitting here, but... I never use my speakers um, unless I'm just trying to like hear music loudly. Like my friends come over, yeah. which I don't really have any friends anymore. I don't hang out with anyone. Like yeah. whenever homies would come, we'd do a studio session. It'd be like, we'll blast the speakers. But when I'm here solo, it's like, I don't need the speakers. So everything I just did, I literally teach you how to do it. It's like, it's really laid out for you. Like you could be, you're going to be made, bro. You see the people in the program, like Ryan and Carlos and, Austin, like they're all banging out beats. It's like, it's not that hard. Yeah. You're going to be doing that hella soon within the month, I would say.